got gold? Well, this is my gold to silver buying ratio and one golden opportunity. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. You know that silver is a passion of mine, right? I love stacking silver. It is a great longer term speculative play and I've stacked it pretty hard. But over the last few months, I've been focusing more on gold. My usual buying ratio has been 400 to one. That's 400 ounces of silver for every one ounce of gold that I buy. But that has changed quite a bit. It has come down to more like 75 to one. Why? Well, there are several reasons, but the one big reason is premiums. Silver's premiums are still way up. You know this. And yes, that can be partially justified by sheer supply and demand. I do still buy silver when I see a great deal, but physical gold can be had for a much smaller percentage over spot. I'm talking single digit premiums, and that's my goal when I'm snagging some gold. Right now, I'm on a fun world tour, if you will, of gold purchases. I, I, I got my uh, dream coin, the one ounce gold buffalo, not too long ago. Then I went up north to Canada and got a one ounce maple. Jumped over to the South African Cougaran. And then I went over to Great Britain and picked up this gorgeous Britannia. I mean, seriously, this is a spectacular piece of gold. I love this Britannia. I won't say it's my favorite one ounce gold piece. That's the That's got to be the Buffalo, but this probably is my second favorite. I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> What's next? Well, it's in this box. So stick around to the end of the video to see exactly what I got. Also, while you're at it, can you please hit the like button? Let's get the word out on the value of precious metal protection in one's financial life. And I want to share with you another way to consider buying your gold in your stock portfolio. Gold mining stocks, and specifically, Eris Gold. Yes, I know, we're stackers. And if we don't hold it, <laughs> we don't own it, right? Well, that's true, but we can't always have physical precious metals with our investments, like in our IRA or our you know, different uh, investment stock portfolios that we have. And I think that Eris Gold could be the ultimate gold stock. In other words, if you have to own just one gold mining stock, I think this one could be it. Now, again, I'm not a professional financial advisor. This is absolutely a speculative play. Don't buy a single share of Eris Gold or any other mining stock without doing your own due diligence. But you know what? I have done my due diligence on Eris Gold. I've applied my Yankee Quadrant to Eris Gold, and I really like what I see. Now, let me run through it with you. You can tell me what you think of Eris in the comments below. Please do. I want to hear it. All right, so the first thing is management. Oh, man, this, this is a phenomenal story, guys. Their management team and board of directors is the best in the mining world. Yeah, I mean it. This is a dream team, people. You can look at thousands of gold mining companies out there and you would never find something even remotely close to this. Eris Gold's CEO is Neil Woodyer, who is the founder of both Leia Gold Mining and Endeavor Mining. Over time, Endeavor Mining grew through a series of acquisitions uh, and, and new mine builds to become what is now the largest gold producer in West Africa. In early 2020, Mr. Woodyer arranged Leia Gold Mining's and Equinox Gold's merger and then after that, he created Eris Gold. 
And when he created Eris Gold, he handpicked a management team. That is just amazing. The director and lead technical consultant is Addy Rowe. He was the COO of Equinox Gold following its merger with Leia Gold Mining, where he held the same position. And then the senior vice president of technical services is Richard Thomas. Prior to Eris Gold, he was the senior vice president of operations with Leia Gold Mining until it merged with Equinox Gold. Senior Vice President Corporate Doug Balbury and Senior Vice President Corporate Development Andrew Goobles are also a part of his executive team. In other words, the people that run Eris Gold have incredible corporate successes. Now, rounding out the Eris Gold team are an independent board of industry leaders, including Ian Teffler, David Garofalo, Serafino Iacono, Peter Marone, and Frank Eustra. All these advisors and directors just make an amazing team. So that's the management. Now let's talk about the second factor, and that is the projects. Their existing mine named Marmato in Colombia already produces 25,000 ounces a year. Yeah, I said Colombia. You might not think that that is a great jurisdiction in the world, when you think of Colombia, but it actually is mining friendly. Eris Gold is modernizing and expanding the historic Marmato mine in Colombia. They're doing phenomenally well in what used to be, since pre-colonial times, a very important gold district. In fact, the gold resource found in this area was so significant that Simone Bolivar, the revolutionary leader who liberated much of South America from Spanish rule, used the gold found here as collateral with British banks to secure funding for the War of Independence against Spain. So, I mean, it has a rich history. The current mine on the Zona Baja property has been in operation since 1991. Again, this is a producing mine. Okay, they literally have all the funding they need to execute an expansion project that they have planned, and that should reach a total of 200,000 ounces of gold per year. The market cap has $272 million in funding, securing a plan to achieve a, get this, 700% growth in production by 2024. Now, the management team I mentioned earlier is not just in Eris Gold because they have one profitable mine. The idea is that Marmato, the you know, 25,000 ounces to 200,000 ounce mine project, is basically the foundation. And from there, you've got the most well-connected and skilled team anywhere on the planet to make further acquisitions and to build a potential multi-billion dollar company. They also have uh, an exploration project up in Canada, too, that has a lot of potential. And because of that huge $272 million market cap I mentioned, they can literally execute the Canadian project for free. So let's talk about ownership, the third most important thing that I uh, look for in a mining company. As you may know, I like to see management in on the action, skin in the game, if you will. The share structure is super good. Grand Columbia owns 44% and management owns another 8.5%. That may not seem like a lot, but that is very significant. Frankly, with this kind of output, profitability, <laughs> you have to expect bigger players to want in. But you see, management is a key stakeholder and they are all in. One other point that I want to make with um, Grand Columbia Gold is that due to the investor agreement they have with them, they have to vote with management and the board and can't sell any of its heirs gold shares or warrants without prior approval until February 3rd, 2023. So this is something that they are looking for the long haul on. Okay, let's talk about Eris Gold's financial position. And as you can probably guess, I'm impressed. The unrestricted cash balance as of the end of last year was $32 million. That, along with net proceeds from gold link notes and other equity financing, brings their total performa current cash to $174 million. Now, they also have a big funding partner. This is a world-renowned uh, investor, Wheaton Precious Metals. Per agreement with them, they have an additional 
committed funds of $110 million in financing. This is a big factor that will help them produce and stay profitable. So their current cash and funding available for growth is a total of $284 million. Excellent financial situation here for Eris Gold. So with the incredibly productive Marmato Mine and the expansion that's going on down there in Columbia, coupled with the Juby Project in Canada, it is exciting to see what's happening with Eris Gold. I think that this is a phenomenal gold mining stock play. People, it's a leverage play. So you need to be careful. Maybe just you know, put a small portion of your portfolio in there. Don't, don't go bananas. And do your own research. Add their ticker symbol, which is A-L-L-X-F on the U.S. over-the-counter stock market. Put them on your watch list and consider them. I am. I don't have the ability to put all my gold assets in tangible form, so I do speculate some with gold mining stocks. And let me tell you, you need to check out Eris Gold. Speaking of uh, uh, physical gold, I do have this last piece of gold that I'm, I promised I'd open up. So let's open this up right now. Oh, yeah. Hero Bullion. That's who I got it from. And it is... Oh, the Gold Philharmonic from Austria. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. What an interesting one ounce gold piece. Look at the edge, look at that. This is one spectacular gold coin. Love it. Definitely get your physical gold. You gotta have gold in your hands. And also, don't forget, to check out Eris Gold for your gold mining stock. Anyway, I will have to get that in a coin capsule. And I appreciate you watching, as always. And I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.